Hello everyone. Pleased to see you again. Today we will be discussing one of, if not the most popular herbivorous dinosaurs in the world. Triceratops, arguably the most identifiable herbivorous dinosaur due to its highly unique appearance and exposure in popular media, such as practically every dinosaur documentary and TV show ever. As such, we will be delving into illustrating this fucking main battle tank build with a burning racial hatred against any other animal that happens to exist within a 100 meter radius. What is the next step of the operation? Triceratops translates to three-horned face, as it was first discovered in 1887 by Edmund B. Wilson at Denver, Colorado. Or apparently it was George Lyman Cannon who then, then sent Lyman it away, Canyon but then is George Lyman Cannon is actually not a real place, place, not a real place. but then George Lyman Cannon is actually not a real place. and described a year later by Charles Marsh, who initially thought that the fossils were just a species of giant bison, which consisted of a pair of brow horns attached to the skull roof, but later realised that it actually belonged to a large prehistoric horned dinosaur, and he later established a new family of dinosaurs known as Ceratopsia, sporting a huge variety of unique species, ranging from small animals like Psittacosaurus sinensis, to formidable titans like Diabloceratops aetoni, Triceratops Prorsus, and of course, Triceratops horridus. The Triceratops in Jurassic Park is most likely a Triceratops prorsus, given the time that Jurassic Park was created and based on Triceratops horridus was slightly bigger than Triceratops prorsus. Either way, I'll be using Triceratops prorsus as the reference for this video for that reason, and due to the fact that it also lived during the late Cretaceous period, all the way from 68 million years ago, all the way down to the KT extinction event, unlike Triceratops horridus, which died out approximately 500,000 years before the KT extinction event. Triceratops prorsus lived in western North America, with remains being discovered in many famous fossil formations, such as Hell Creek, Denver, and Laramie Formation, just to name a few. It lived at the time where dinosaurs were arguably at their largest size, such as Pachycephalosaurus, Ankylosaurus, Edmontosaurus, and Tyrannosaurus. Anyways, let's move on to the There is no doubt that Triceratops is one of, if not the most recognisable dinosaurs in the world. If I showed a picture of a trike to a random passerby, they will most likely be able to discern it as a Triceratops thanks to Jurassic Park and earlier popular dinosaur media. Triceratops is a very unique and gorgeous looking animal, with the Ceratopsian family in general being some of the most diverse and cool looking clade of dinosaurs. Triceratops was way larger than most people realise, with the average specimen coming in at about 8 to 9 metres in length, with a height of 3 to 3.5 metres tall at the tip of the neck frail, and ranging from a weight of 6 tonnes to a monstrous 12 tonnes. I will once again proceed to use the American school bus example. When you take a look at the Triceratops, your eyes immediately notice the two large horns on its head, sporting an average of 1 to 1.15 meters in length, accompanied by the giant neck frill, which spanned approximately 1.5 meters, giving Triceratops an incredibly imposing and intimidating stature, which begs the question, was Triceratops a stand user? Shut me. I've been here fucking drafted to make this video about fucking dinosaurs. Unfortunately, the best dinosaur ever made by our lord and saviour, Todd Howard, gets that same treatment that most other herbivores have to kind of deal with. You know, the classic trope of uh, being gumped. However, when it comes to Triceratops, paleontology suggests that this cannot be further from the truth, as Triceratops was likely the one doing the gimping. I mean, just look at this fucker and you tell me this motherfucker was getting neg deft by a fucking carno. No. Being the absolute fucking unit that it was, most predators likely wouldn't even dare to be in the vicinity of, never mind confront, an adult male triceratops. Never mind a herd. 
Although fossil analysis of Triceratops and Tyrannosaurus rex indicates that most hunting attempts ended extremely poorly. And it's no surprise that you can thank the horns and the neck frill for that. The horns were likely used as both offense and defense because of course they were. I mean, the big bastards couldn't see for shit. You ever seen Daredevil? It's like a roided up Ford Ranger T-boning a fucking 18-wheeler and uh, winning. It's more likely that they were more often than not used in an intraspecific combat against other trikes and for, you know, sexual display. Who, who doesn't love a sword fight with the boys, eh? The neck frill speculated to have evolved for protecting its neck from attacks in addition to a display f- The fuck? As the name suggests, the Triceratops was a Ceratopsid, which were typically herbivores, but that's like calling the owl typically straight. I say typically because unlike hadrosaurs, which had duck bills for their mouths, Ceratopsians had mouths more like beaks. These were often very sharp and likely helped them to tear through dense foliage for food. However, I wouldn't not consider the idea that a trike could have just used its beak to vibe check anyone who wanted this role. Which further adds to the absolute unit's arsenal of doom fuckery. I, I mean, man, I wish dinosaurs were real. I would like to thank this handsome young fellow for taking part in the video. It's his favourite dinosaur, so he very much enjoyed working on it with... Okay, this is like three times I've been interrupted in this video. What the fuck is that? I swear to fucking god, I don't care who the IRS is, I'm not paying-